How's it going? So, uh, it's my chintzy little Harbor Freight um, drill press vise that I picked up the other day. And, uh, you know, once setting it up on the thing, like the holes, you know, up on the platform there, the holes didn't quite, the slots, I guess you could say, didn't line up. So, um, made a little template there and just kind of marked the center of each slot. And basically what I'm doing here is I'm making a little fixture to adapt that uh, little the little vise to the drill press base there and the reason I'm doing that is I needed to make a little uh, jig for my to notch my fork legs that you know it's got the middle of a bend so um, basically just made this little fixture had a bunch of you know basically went off this old craftsman jack here that I've been robbing bits and pieces of scrap metal from and kind of backpedaling here a little bit because I had already cut all this out and so I just kind of wanted to show where I got the pieces from essentially so got this piece there I cut it with my grinder and then just that's kind of the strap pieces there and then the two pieces on each end that I used to make the little drill press vice fixture universal mount jig so essentially what I did is just cut the pieces up there and drilled you know figured a spots on each end drilled some holes tapped them and um, you know used it to uh, really you know the reason I was doing all of this is just so I could have a, a fixture to hold a consistent place in my drill press um, so I could basically make some little pieces to go with into the fork notching jig if that makes sense um, uh, so it's you know basically just tapping the holes here but um, you know in the past I've kind of just maybe done some things like clamped some angle iron and made like a temporary fixture on my drill press but um, you know this was kind of a lot of work to do all this but it was something that I could in the future set up and would be a little quicker and easier than clamping down at you know some temporary pieces if I need to make a run of some pieces or whatnot so that's kind of what I just what I did here so um, you know at some point I'll have me a nice mill and a lathe and, and things should be a lot easier so it's kind of doing things the hard way here but it's basically all you know the, I don't know if I've mentioned it before but you know as with the last time this is a pretty low budget frame and I'm kind of having to use what I've got mainly on hand or you know minimal expenses um, I do have a little more tools and things than I had last time so I'm gradually building up my tool um, arsenal I guess you could say you know it's still pretty pretty rudimentary and low end and pretty basic so but you know the goal if I can make a nice product or something in the end then that's you know, I guess it might take a little longer and a little more hassle but you know that's just how I'm gonna have to do it this time so anyway just welding in the uh, um, the little studs there just cut some little sections of all thread and welding them up in here and you know basically once I just ground down all the back sides of everything and the welds I beveled the all the in the uh, metal there so the welds were sunk in pretty good so it didn't take much cleanup to get everything flat you know both surfaces between the drill press base and the little vise were all pretty flat so um, yeah it all worked out you know had to massage it a little there at the end to get everything to line up just right but it uh works out you know for the intended purpose of what I designed it for I guess so a lot of work though I don't know just started questioning the whole thing there about midway through but uh, anyway here's my first little piece there for the 
and it's going to hold the tube down. And yeah, kind of a funny story, that piece that was resting under the bottom, I had ordered uh, some aluminum from a place last week and um, looking at the description and what I thought, I thought it was a two inch by half inch by one foot section. I was like, oh yeah, that's, you know, it's like only five dollars and something. Ah, oh, that's a good deal. I'll, yeah, I'm going to get one of those and I can cut it up and make all kinds of little pieces like this one here. And come to find out, you know, I look, after it shipped, I looked at the invoice and it was a, a two inch by half inch by one inch piece. So pretty much about the size of a, you know, I get this bag that shows up. And it's about the size of a cigarette lighter or something inside. And so, yeah, that was kind of comical but I actually used the little piece there at the um, the end of the, the little jig here the little fixture to the part where the fork actually kind of bends so I don't know I was able to actually use it but I don't know got to just pay, pay attention to the details I guess when you're ordering this I could have sworn it said one foot you know and not one inch but oh well live and learn so this is my finished little jig piece here and it you know kind of you know that the main base there is another piece of that side of the of the jack that I've had this piece kind of laying around which I don't I guess there was some bigger pieces initially that I had cut up and stuff so um you know just use my little Dewalt drill and I this is sped up about four times so but it, it still made pretty quick work of it but you know, I wanted to go a little bit slower drill speed, but, you know, unless you just hit it full throttle, it would kind of, you know, want to stall the drill out and stuff. So, uh, you know, that metal's so thick, it, you know, I didn't think there would be any issues with it tearing or anything like that. So, um, yeah, I did a pretty, pretty nice little job. That's tube number one there, and then this is tube number two. Um, so, you know, they cut... It, you know, with a little bit of the, you know, the, uh, I don't know, I guess play that's in the little, the shaft there where the hole saw attaches to and goes through the little, you know, the fixture that I basically just took that part off of my little Harbor Freight tube notcher and bolted it to this and then, you know, I'll just put it back on the other one to notch the frame tubes, but it's got a little wiggle so it, it kind of maybe offset it about a, maybe a half a millimeter, but I got it all cleaned up there and you know there's always a little bit of deburring and clean up and so I you know got it all leveled out and it ended up ended up pretty nice um, yeah it's I cut basically a section that I you know once I got the, you know the fort once I knew how much it was going to take I cut a section an inch and a quarter tubing and basically pressed the crown race piece there and then that tube you know up onto the steer tube itself so I actually kind of had to hammer it up on there a little bit but it's a nice nice fit up and straight and everything else so at this point I just gotta fixture it up and weld it up there and uh, then we'll be moving on to the do the dropouts and everything so but you know this was I really wanted to get a definitive height of the fork you know so I could make sure it's going to work with my full-size drawing and all that make any tweaks that may be needed so uh, yeah that's going to do it for week four and I'm getting ready to go on vacation for uh, about five days so um, I don't know try to have as much as I can for next week but we'll just see how that goes but uh, yeah anyways thanks for watching